So CeeLo Green is just fine. The phone did not explode in his face and I knew that was fake. I should have made this video last night. And the reason I, you know what gave it away for me was guy was sitting up against his desk and he's got a security camera over his left shoulder. Everyone leaves the recording studio and then he pushes his chair away from the desk and starts to kind of spin around, you know, like when kids play on chairs, office chairs, and this is a grown man and he's kind of like playing around like he's spinning on the, on the chair and he spins it around to the perfect angle so that the camera is now over his right hand shoulder where he's making a phone call, holding the phone up here and you can kind of see the smoke coming out. I mean, it was just so staged that, you know, for a minute I was thinking, I hope this guy's okay, but it looks so fake and it was. So the phone never blew up on him, but um, this one might. Uh, it probably won't. And honestly, I was thinking about, you know, whether or not it would make sense to keep this because the Galaxy S7 will most likely be some sort of collector's item at some point in time. Uh, obviously, you don't want to use it because that could be dangerous, but I've seen a lot of controversy on, you know, well, why would you want to keep something like that? Well, you know, if you take a look at like the original, very first generation iPhone 2G, that thing is worth a lot of money in mint condition in the box, uh, which is pretty much what this one is. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and return it. And I wanted to document the procedure. And this thing is literally like just opened. And if you if you don't have one of these, you'll you'll probably have to get hands on to understand why people like this phone so much. I mean, it's a great design. It's the best thing that uh, Samsung has going at the moment and arguably one of the better Android phones of the year, minus the fact that the battery is unstable and it looks like it might not be limited to just this model. So I'm gonna give Cam uh, Samsung a call and hopefully be able to record the conversation so that you can hear it. I'm not sure about how they're gonna feel about that. So I'm gonna to have to let them know first. I'm in California, you have to let people know if you're recording their phone conversation up front. So hopefully they'll cooperate with that. We'll find out right now. So uh, this is the number, by the way, if you need it, 844-365-6197. And let's see what happens. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 recall hotline. Please know that your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Oh, perfect. Press three if you are at an airport and require assistance. Otherwise, please stay on the line for the next available agent. All right, I may time lapse here if this takes a long time. You may experience a brief silence while we transfer you to an agent. Please hold on to the line. Thank you for calling. We have announced an expanded voluntary recall on all original and replacement Galaxy Note 7 devices in cooperation with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission and in partnership with carriers and retailers. Please remain on the line and an agent will be with you momentarily. You can also visit our Galaxy Note 7 recall website at www.samsung.com forward slash US forward slash Note 7 recall. Hello, this is Alex with the Samsung Note 7 recall team. Can I please give your first name? Yeah, Alex, my name's Mike, and I uh, heard a prompt at the beginning of the call, and I wanted to let you know that I am also recording this call just to kind of document the procedure for uh, getting this phone returned to you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. So I've got a Galaxy Note 7. It's pretty much uh, like new in the box. It has been opened. Uh, however, it was purchased from a third party, so I'm not sure what the procedure is on getting this back to you. Samsung will take care of that directly. Is this the first time you've called? Uh, it sounds like it is, so I expect you don't have a transaction or a ticket number. I do not. We usually just skip the city because the zip is oh, okay. better is at the computer. Gotcha. The computer then brings it up for us. That totally Imagine. makes sense. As far as I'm concerned, it is magic. I have no idea how these computers work, so <laughs> no difference to me. Okay, and you bought a uh, third-party phone. Right. Is in, this going to be for exchange or for refund? Um, well, what what options are there for exchange? I didn't know that that, uh, that was possible. The exchange is you can either get a... The, uh, an S7 or an S7 Edge, those are really the only production.
production phones that Samsung is still really making. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. yeah. If you get a Samsung product, you'll be eligible for an up to $100 um, exchange incentive to, to try and get these phones off the streets. Gotcha. And then the other option is for a cash refund, and then you will, would receive uh, up to a $25 incentive. Okay, yeah, I think the the refund's probably going to be the way to go for now. Uh, the S8 isn't due out until, what, like April next year? Well, it's not announced, so I right. don't know when it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, can we just go ahead and do the, the refund for the time being? Okay. I've got that down, and then I just have... Do you have your... Um, IMEI there, handy. Yeah, yeah, I've actually got it. It's on the box and a uh, little label that was on the inside. So the IMEI is three nine. I'm sorry, three five nine five. Okay, let me look through everything. Make sure I've got all my I's dotted and my T's crossed. Okay. Okay, three nine Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer you to our specialty team to finish getting the information on that. Is this Michael? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, the previous agent was uh, agent was telling me uh, that you wanted to be set up for a refund, correct? For your Note 7? Yeah, that's correct. And did he also let you know that I'm recording the telephone call just to document this process? Uh, sure, that's quite all right. We also record our calls as well. Yeah, I figured. I just wanted to let you know it's kind of a legal thing in California. You got to let and I, I, I basically we do phone repair, so I want to be able to let my customers know exactly what the process is, the time frame, and all that kind of stuff. And we happen to have one of these that needs to go back, so I just wanted to let you know up front. Oh yeah, quite all right, absolutely. Uh, and uh, what, where was the device purchased? If you don't mind me asking. Um, it was purchased at the same location, to the best of my knowledge, um, by uh, from a third party. Uh, right, and that's quite all right. We don't uh, require any receipts. You know, if you don't have one, we uh, if you don't have a receipt, we normally uh, will just do the list price, which is eight hundred fifty dollars plus tax. That comes out to uh, nine hundred and twenty and thirteen cents, I believe. And then uh, also uh, we add on the twenty five dollar loyalty credit, um, and that brings it up to nine hundred and forty five dollars. Um, is that going to be okay for the refund? Yeah, yeah, that's great. We uh, we do a lot of buying and selling of used and like new phones from our customers, so I don't have any sort of receipt or anything like that. Okay, that's fine. And uh, do, do you also have any uh, third party uh, accessories that you purchased for the Note Seven, or uh, probably not, or is it just the phone itself? Then, to the best of my knowledge, it's just the phone. I'm kind of just the one handling this transaction, but whatever the f comes in the box, there wasn't anything. Uh, I don't think as far as like, okay. you know, uh, extra accessories. Right, okay. So the way this works is, I'll, you know, I can set this up right now and then we'll ship you a box. It's going to be the stair cycle box. It's uh, got multiple layers, uh, packing instructions, gloves. Uh, it's got a prepaid uh, UPS label already on it. So you can just pop that in the UPS drop box. Um, we'll send you that box in two to five business days. And then uh, once you uh, once you send that off, you can pop it in a UPS drop box. Uh, we'll get that in a few days later. We'll go ahead and, you know, open the box to verify the information from the device. And then we'll process the check. Now, normally we uh, quote, 10 to 14 business days for the check. Um, it may take longer than that, just an FYI, um, you know, because we've got so many in-house here, so we're just kind of processing these um, as they come. Um, so, you know, we normally quote 10 to 14 business days, but quite honestly, it'll probably be uh, longer than that before you receive your check, um, just due to the, pro you know, just due to the volume that we're working with here. But we're doing our best to get them out in 10 to 14 business days, and that's what we quote. But I just wanted to give you an F uh, you know, just a heads up on that. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. You know when you're on hold and they're playing music that they hear everything that you say? So uh, if you want to avoid that, just make sure you hit the mute button whenever you're on hold. Because as you can imagine, um, especially if you're making, I don't know, eating noises or something, uh, the person on the other end of the line typically can hear all that. So he probably heard my comment about the weird music, but whatever. Anyways, just waiting for him to come back and I'll probably speed this up again because this is really boring. I hate to do this for a living. You have to listen to this. Oh, I wonder if that's going to trip some YouTube copyright thing. I'm going to have to Shazam this music, see who holds the copyright, and find out. I probably can't even do the, play this on YouTube, this part. I have to block it out. That sucks. 
Speaking of, I'll tell you a funny story if we have a time right now about uh, copyrighted works. I purchased the rights to use some background music in one of my videos, uploaded it probably about, I don't know, four or five years ago, and everything was cool for about a year and a half, two years, then apparently someone else also purchased the rights to use that music, created a song from it, adding vocals, uploaded it to video, uploaded it to YouTube, and guess who got flagged for copyright infringement? Perfect, that's it. So uh, you're going to receive that box in about two to five business days. And just an FYI on that, just kind of explain how it works. Um, the box, uh, if you, so we don't need any of the original accessories back. Uh, you know, the original box and all those items, adapters and whatnot. You can just put the naked phone in the box, if that makes sense. And then, of course, minus the SIM card uh, in the device. You'll want to keep that that belongs to the customer. And then, um, and then as far as uh, as far as the rest of it, you don't need to worry about anything else. Just go ahead and put it in there, like it says in the instructions. Uh, pack it up, put it in a UPS drop box, and then the check gets processed. Uh, Ten to fourteen business days, like I said, uh, normal turnaround time. Uh, that'll include the tax, the uh, amount of the phone, and the twenty-five dollar loyalty credit. The total amount should be nine hundred forty-five dollars and thirteen cents. Um, did you have any further questions for me at all? Uh, no, just yeah, actually nine forty-five thirteen. And send just the phone so you don't need the charging block that's inside the package or the box itself or anything like that? None of that. Just the naked device. Okay, should I send the battery with it or? No, just kidding, dude. Sorry, bad joke. Um, long time ago, we, <laughs> we used to send phones in for, you know, warranty stuff with the battery and the batteries never came back with them. So I, that's just like the oh. first thing that came to my mind. But yeah, I'm not going to mess with that battery for sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can even get it out unless you had a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Well, all sounds good. I do appreciate your help. All right. Oh, you bet. Merry Christmas, sir. Thanks for calling. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, so that wasn't too bad. About 20 minutes of time on the phone. Obviously, I could have been doing other things. Uh, but uh, getting your money back without a receipt, not a bit, not a problem apparently. You know, as long as you have the phone and the IMEI, send it back to them. And what I started to say earlier was that when I got flagged for copyright infringement for using music that I had paid to use, um, and somehow the other person didn't, and it was after the fact when they had uploaded it, they said, you know, I'm using their music, which is crazy because I had been, you know, have this track on my video for like at least two years before anybody said anything about it. Fortunately, I dug through my old email, still had the receipts, and said, no, I paid for the rights, here's my proof, and my video got unflagged, or whatever it is that you want to call it, and uh, has been unaffected. And since then, I've decided not to include music on most of my videos uh, for a number of reasons. But anyways, there you go. I'm going to send this back, and I will follow up. He says like six to eight weeks, so apparently this is a slow process. But uh, we'll be getting a refund, and unfortunately, got to say goodbye to the Note 7. So that's it. See you next time. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.